You know, work both ways. There is a lot of overlap in terms of sim sim symptomatic presentation. Okay, so some people can read the in the videos and stuff that I do. They they look at the articles and they, and they see the signs and symptoms. And actually, they see that they've got autonomic nervous system dysfunction and, and whatnot. They think they've got a thiamine problem. Actually, it turned out that they had mold light. They look very similar in terms of the symptoms. And that's kind of, you know, really confusing sometimes for some people. You seem to have two camps, right? For some people, it tends to be the case that they respond beautifully to Lyme, uh, sorry, to, to thiamine treatment, along with some other kind of anti-neuroinflammatories and things, even if they have ongoing Lyme, but also if they have a mold problem. You know, because sometimes I think that the, the you know, if you look at the neuroinflammatory processes that are caused by mold or Lyme, then ultimately it's producing the same chemicals which have this effect on metabolism. You know, in, in, an, in a mold patient, what they can see is that whilst you've got these inflammatory uh, genes uh, which are being um, expressed and they've got this neuroinflammation, what they're also is present of is hypometabolism in the brain. So you've got this inability or this defect in making energy. Now, the question is, is this purely a cell danger response whereby it's suitable or it's preferential not to make energy? Does it benefit them? Or alternatively, is it a downstream uh, detrimental side effect that they get from chronic neuroinflammation and actually does have, does fixing the energy problem help them deal with the inflammatory problem some people it seems as though if they've treated Lyme if they've got out of a moldy environment but if they've still got this kind of chronic neuroinflammation and autonomic nervous system dysfunction then for them sometimes it is a case of actually stimulating metabolism starting to open up those energy and energy generating pathways and so the brain can actually start clearing the waste and in, in some people uh, they, they recover from what they thought was post Lyme syndrome, it was actually like a, a, um, a collection of nutritional deficiencies, which were induced by chronic infection, even though they dealt with chronic infection. Although some